Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we're gonna have a look at the Dubfer A198, a Trotonium ribbon controller. Let's dive a bit into history first. A Trotonium is one of the first electronic music instruments. Invented 1930 by Friedrich Trautwein in Berlin. You could say that it is a predecessor of synthesizers. Instead of a keyboard, its manual is made of a resistor wire over a metal plate, which is pressed to create the sound. Expressive playing was possible with this wire by gliding on it and creating vibrato with small movements. The volume was controlled by the pressure of the finger on the wire and board. The first trotoniums were sold by Telefunken from 1933 until 1935. Back to the Döpfer A198. It is made of two units, module and manual. The module contains the electronics that is required to derive the CV and gate signals from the data coming from the manual. These signals can be used to control other modules like VCO, VCFs, VCAs or envelope generators. The manual is composed of a position sensor and a pressure sensor, not a string like in the original Trotonium manual. In combination with the subharmonic oscillator A113 and the Trotonium filter A104, a Trotonium replica may be realized. There are two sections on the module, one for position and one for pressure. Both sections have a gate and a CV output. You usually want to use the CV out of the position section for the pitch or wall per octave input of your VCO. There is a switch for hold on and off. If it is on, the CV voltage is held after removing the finger. If it is off, the voltage jumps back to zero volts. Also, if hold is off, a gate signal will be sent whenever you touch the sensor. When hold is on, no gate signal will be generated. Both position and pressure section have a knob to set the scale or pitch for the CV output. The pressure section has an additional knob to adjust the threshold. This sets the threshold for when a gate signal is triggered, as soon as the pressure exceeds a certain value. Last but not least, there is a USB port where you connect the manual to. Be aware that this is only, and I repeat, only for the manual. Do not try to connect any other USB devices. It's not made for that. In this video I will use it together with the Behringer Brains. The Brains, like its originator plates from mutable instruments, has a level input. This is cool because we can connect the position CV to the pitch of the module and the pressure CV to the level input. So the level of the sound will react to how hard we press our finger. At the end of the video I will connect the pressure CV out to the CV input of a Dup for Wasp filter. Which is also pretty cool. Alright, let's check out this Dup for Ribbon controller.
Right, that was it for the Döpfer A198, a tritonium and ribbon controller that lets you get very creative with your modular synth. If you like my videos and want to support my channel, leave a like and subscribe for more videos to come. See you next time on the...